Classification means picking up a group of items with a similar quality. In this section, you will see a set of words which have some properties and you will see that most of the words have the same property except one word. So we need to figure out the odd one out. Let's see how it goes on. Classification. Let's solve the first question. Look at these words. Can you figure out the odd one out? We have parrot, bat, crow, sparrow and pigeon. At first glance, we might feel all belongs to the category of birds. There is nothing odd. But on a close observation, you can make out bat is slightly different. This is a mammal. Therefore, this one is the odd one out. Look at these words. Bake, peel, fry, boil, roast. Except peel, all other things are used for cooking. So, this is not used for cooking. Therefore, this is the odd one out. Here we have write, read, knowledge, learn, study. And it's very clear. We do the writing, reading, learning and studying in order to acquire knowledge. Knowledge is something unique with respect to the other words. Therefore, this is the answer. Here we have volume, size, large, shape, weight. Slightly tricky, but still you can answer. Try it. Volume, size, shape and weight. These are properties of matter. And large is something which is quantifying one of the property. That is the size. It could be large or small. But as such, it is not a property. Therefore, this is the odd one out. Then we have corn, wheat, cotton, jowar, millet. At first glance, we might feel all of them are crops. In fact, they are all crops. But is there any difference? Just think. Think in terms of eating. We can eat the corn. We can eat the wheat. We can eat jowar, millet. But do we eat cotton? No. This is actually a fiber crop. And the rest are the food crop. Therefore, this one is odd one out. And that's the answer. C. Now we have a question with two two words. So basically, we need to find out relation in each of the case and see which one the relation does not match with the rest. Let me start from the bottom. Pen and pencil, pistol, gun, pawn, lake, car, bus, church, monument. We can clearly see these are connected. Pencil and pen, these belong to the same class, which are used for writing. Then even pistol and gun belong to the same class, where they are used for shooting. And pawn and leg, both belong to the same class, that is water. And car and bus, same class, that is transport. What about church and monument? Is a church a monument? No. Is a monument a church? No. Therefore, this one is odd one out. And sometimes we may see numbers. Now observe these numbers. Do you see anything odd? Whenever you see like 13 and 17, think of prime numbers. Are there prime numbers? Yes, we have 23 as well. We have even 71 as prime number. 63 is not prime because 7 into 9 is 63. Therefore, this is the only number which is not prime. Therefore, that's the odd one out. Look at this. Here they have given two two numbers. So probably there could be some relation. So 9 and 81. Are there factors? Yes. 9, 9 is 81. How about 15 and 5? 5, 3 is 15. 2, 16 is 6, 6. What about 4 and 42? Can it divide? No, it does not. Therefore, this is the one that the division is not possible or these two are not practiced. Therefore, this is the odd one out. Sometimes you also see some alphabets. Now, look at the pattern in these alphabets. Again, let me start from the bottom. S, R, Q, P. Or I can read as P, Q, R, S, the run sequence. W, X, Y, Z, K, L, M, N, E, then there should be F, then G, H, I, R, S, T, U. In all the cases, the letters are in sequence except in the second one. The F is missing over here. Therefore, this is the odd one out. Give a careful glance of the options and most of the time you can easily crack the odd one out. All the best.